All right, my name is Chi Nyere and I am a mom vlogger based here in the UK. I make videos about lifestyle, travel vlogs, and tips about activities, life, work, job, housing here in the UK. And if you are seeing me for the first time, you are most welcome. And if you have been coming and going without subscribing, I wonder what my offense is. And whichever thing it is, forgive me and please subscribe to my channel so that I can grow. All right, this video is in regards to the most recent video I made about uh, top jobs in the UK that you can do with that degree and uh, healthcare assistant job and support work standing out in all of them. Because a lot of people in overseas, they are really seeking for opportunities to come down to the UK to work as healthcare assistant. And recently, the good news has been that the UK government, that's the home office, they have included the healthcare assistant job in the shortage list. That is in the occupation shortage list here in the UK. So a lot of people stand the chances of coming into UK to work. And basically, as we know, this very job does not only require you to be a graduate or to have any form of degree, even foreigners already here in the UK, those who came in through study visa, and they've studied here, acquired some degrees. A lot of them are still working as healthcare assistants. Yes, you heard me right. A lot of them are still doing jobs that require no degrees to, you know, to start up. And this is basically one thing that is fascinating about the UK. Any job position or level you are doing in this very country, you are highly regarded. You have your respect. You have all your rights. The right somebody working in. In the top level has that's the same right you have and you can live a happy life your salary is always enough to cater for your monthly bills yes and then support your family or rent even within the uk and those in your home country <laughs> So basically, today we shall be talking about the requirements for you to become a healthcare assistant here in the UK. And I'm honestly making this video as a result of the DM I got. Yes, in my messenger, somebody wrote me regarding how he can come over. I don't know if he was actually asking the question for the sister of herself. But whichever way here we are today talking about the eligibility, the requirements or the step you have to go through for you to become a healthcare assistant assistant here in the uk and i would also like to say in my country i'm a nigerian healthcare assistant job is not something that is that peculiar yes because it's not like a professional job even as a casual work in my country it's not that loud it's not that known apart from some of the hospitals like the government hospitals and some of the special hospitals in my country where I had my child in VI, there was a healthcare assistant then that became my friend because I'm an easygoing person anyway. Yeah. So it's not something that is very loud. We even tag them, not say lizards. Yes, this is what we call them. Sorry about that. But truth be told, but this is a job that pays well in this part of the world and everyone is rushing into it. And if you are in overseas and you are wishing to come to the UK to pick up a job in this very field or to become a healthcare assistant, basically, number one is that coming in here, you have to get a job first. Yes, you can't just come into UK without having a job. A company or a care home, a hospital must employ you to come in and play this role. And for a company to employ you, you must meet some basic requirements. Or the company would definitely have to meet some basic requirements by the UK government. Yes, because there is what is called COS, Certificate of Sponsorship. That is what a company would actually provide you for you to be able to come into this very country. And there are not many companies that offer this sponsorship visas. Some of them, they recruit people already in the UK. But for companies who have the license to recruit foreign workers from overseas, maybe doctors and nurses. But basically, remember, we are talking about a healthcare assistant. This company has to, you know, provide you with the COS. It has its own point base while applying for the visa. You cannot come in here without COS, that certificate of sponsorship, you know. 
So basically for the company to offer you this, you have to have a job. Yeah, so for a company to be able to employ you to come into the UK to work as a healthcare assistant, the company must meet some basic requirement. And you that is coming in must also meet certain requirements for the company to be able to employ you. According to the home office, they stipulated that for a company to bring you in here to work as a healthcare assistant, the company should be able to offer you an annual salary of £20,840 in a year. You know, that's the minimum they should be able to offer you. Some companies or some, um, what is it called, care homes, hospitals, they pay healthcare assistant, something about 19000 25 depending on the agreement you reach with them. This is their sort of annual payment from 19 to 25 or 24, some pay 23, you know. And for you to also come in, that company should be able, or that care home should be able to offer you what is called COS. That's the certificate of sponsorship. They should be able to sponsor your coming into this country. And that's a lot of money, you know. And for this company to provide you this, you must prove that you are eligible to work as a healthcare assistant in this part of the world, even without your basic education or without being a graduate. But there are some expectations, that's requirements, things that you are expected to have for you to be able to be employed by a hospital, care home, to come in here and work. And another of this is this, you must be able to have a kind of um, English proficiency, you know, this is an English speaking country. Most of us coming in from Africa, our countries do not speak English. Even those of us from Nigeria, uh, we were colonized by, by the Britain, but we know what it is. Ask those of us that have been staying here for quite a long time. The English is so thick that if you do not pay proper attention, you cannot understand them. This is why they require you to have a proof of English proficiency. Yes, you can also use your degree to apply for NARIC certificate. Um, they will definitely verify this through your transcript to ensure that it is equivalent to UK degree qualification. And if it is, they will offer you a certificate that you would use to apply for your visa. In that way, you are good to go. And even if you are a nurse, you have not been practicing, this is another opportunity for you. And if you do not have proof of English, that's IELTS, you can apply with your degree qualification for NARIC certificate, yes, you can check up the link on how to apply for this. It's 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 a body that verifies your certificate. So it's a body here in the UK that verifies your degree certificate to ensure that it is equivalent to that of the UK degree. Yes, this is a certificate that supports your visa application in place of the IELTS proof of English exam. Um, another point you should note is this, that the visa duration that they will offer you for you to come in as a healthcare assistant is just 12 months visa. Yes, that's one year visa. And meanwhile, the visa is renewable because it can lead to settlement. And how do you settle in the UK? You must have stayed here for five years before you can apply for settlement visa. And remember, once you get this visa, definitely you are bringing in your family. What am I saying? Once you get the one-year visa, yes, that's the one-year visa they will offer you once you get the job as a healthcare assistant into this very country. It allows you to bring in your dependents, your wife, your children into this very country. That means at the end of the 12 months, you can renew your visa through your company or through your employer. Hospital Care Home can renew this for you. And the fantastic news is this, that the health surcharge, you know the health surcharge, it's also removed for this visa level for you coming in as a healthcare assistant. Previously to now, people have to pay head surcharge in order to come in. And that's a lot of money. We didn't pay for it when we came in and we were so glad we did it because, because it's a huge sum of money for a family of three to pay. You know, so you are lucky coming in here as a healthcare assistant. This head surcharge fee is cut off for you. Good news is that factor is this before you go for your visa application, you need a proof of fund of £1,270 to be in your account. Yes, within the duration of 28 to 31 days interval. That's before you go to apply for your visa. It is necessary you have this money in your yeah, account. And another point to note is this do not forget that the normal standard visa fee for a healthcare worker coming into the UK 
is £232 per person. Yes, that's for a period of three years and £464 for a period of five years because you can either come in with a three years visa or with a five years visa. Meanwhile, I came in with one year visa. So it depends on what you can afford at the point of you are applying. Yes, what you have in your account, what you should be able to pay for you and your family or yourself alone. So another factor is this. There is also this reference check that they will go through. They need you to like get your references to sign for you. There is this employment check, educational check, and uh, there is they also require you to have a police clearance record. Before I came in here, I got two police check, one from Saudi Arabia because I came into this country from Saudi Arabia where I spent three years and another police check from my home country, which is Nigeria. Yes, I got a police clearance um, letter from Nigeria and from Saudi Arabia before I was able to apply for my visa over there in Saudi Arabia in the UK via VF. VFS in the UK VFS office, you know, before coming down here. Yes, yeah, so these are things you need to put in place. And basically, another major factor is this you need a professional CV, a standard CV. And what do you need to put in your CV? A clear understanding of what care healthcare role is, especially care assistant role. What are required of you as a healthcare assistant? You know, you need a clear understanding of um, care provision to people with vulnerability. You need a clear understanding of diversity because UK is a country with a lot of people in their diverse culture, belief system. You need to have um, this quality of acceptance, being able to accept people in their own opinion, in their own belief system, in their own way of life, in, in their eating habits. You know, thoroughness. These are the things you, you are supposed to understand. And these are the factors or the points that you should include in your professional CV to show that, yes, you understand your role as a healthcare assistant. And privacy is a big issue here. You don't say what nobody wants you to say here or what no one wants you to say. As a healthcare assistant, there are limits to what you can say to a third party, fourth party, something that is between you and the person you are providing care for. You know, so you have to understand all this in order for you to put down a professional CV that will be acceptable and attractive to your employer because the competition is too high in this very part of the world. And if you are coming from Nigeria, where healthcare assistant role is not that prominent or something that is well known to everyone, what you have to do because you need and experience to work in this part of the world. Experience is a big issue here. Yes, you heard me well. How do you acquire this experience back home in Nigeria? I would advise you go to any hospital around you, start working as a healthcare assistant. Even if it means you volunteer and ask them not to pay you, yeah, that would be fine. So that, why do I say this? So that when you want a reference letter from this hospital, they should be able to give you a reference letter. Myself, before I got a job here, I got a reference letter from Nigeria, the last place I work, not in the hospital anywhere, but it is also in a health and um, educational field, you know. So I was able to get a reference letter from Nigeria and the other one from a healthcare company in this very place where I have worked in Manchester before now. So you need all these things. They don't joke with your work experience, references. You cannot manufacture this from anywhere because they have to write the company or the hospital or wherever, whomever that is offering you this reference letter. They have to write the person. The person has to reply to them. You know, so just volunteer to work in the hospital or in a school, or anywhere you know you can volunteer. Because I know the pay in Nigeria might not be that attractive for you to, like, say, you want to get a job as a healthcare assistant in Nigeria. They don't pay nothing that is fantastic. But even if they offer to pay you, even if it is 10,000 naira, take it, do it as a part-time in order to get the experience within three or four months that you should be applying for this job. Yes, I believe that this detail is something that is going to help you in processing your visa or, or your job application to becoming a healthcare assistant in this part of the world. Thank you so much for clicking to watch and thank you for always supporting me 
of my channel and please do not forget to like comment subscribe and keep coming for more videos bye for now and see you again